the uh, motor museum. I believe it's four pounds to get in. To come through the antique shop to get to the motor museum. It was four pounds to get in. I asked me if I could take pictures. He said, "Yeah." It's only a small place, but it's worth looking. It's old pump there. Look. Don't touch anything. Better put my mask back on in case someone else is in there. These, these people are being covered. Oh, look at them. I'm going to take my mask off because no one else is in here. It's got all the veteran car run banners. There's loads of them, look. So some of these are them three-wheeler type cars. There's loads of these model cars here, look. And bottles of oil. So I was looking around, I thought I was talking to myself. Make sure no one was in here. There's no oil pump there. I mean, you certainly pack the stuff in here. There's stuff absolutely everywhere. Spark plugs. Oh, Making it look like I know what I'm talking about. I know what a spark plug looks like, but other things I won't have a clue. I'm trying to go as slow as possible, guys, but. I don't know what these bottles are. This looks like oil bottles as well. And the old cans here. I've got one of these cans indoors. The customer gave it to me. Every time I went there I said, oh I like that. And you give it to me in the end. <laughs> Some old bikes up there. The old AA sign. See there's one in three wheel cars look. Please do not toot the horns. Sorry guys, it's really close, but as you can see, there's only a narrow path here. And I can't go up to show you the dash of any of the cars. Another three-wheeler? I think they're all, they're yeah, looking at them, I think they're all three-wheelers. They're all them Morgan Morgans. That's a bit of information on this red one. Hundred and thirty seven pound fifty P to buy brand new. Oh this is the first card of collection. If I reach over you might be able to see the dash a little bit. Close up and get guys. Have a roll pump in the background. Some more information on this navy blue one. I don't know what people like to see on these cars because like I said I ain't got a clue about cars. I know how to drive them, that's about it. This one's a 1924. This is a nice one. I think this is my favourite. 
I want to ask it randomly because this car goes in angle. Just see the little wheel at the back there. And you've got this Morgan here. This is this one. I will be able to show you a proper view of the dash on that one because I can get around it. This is your two little back seats. Basically, are bikes over the back there, little pedal car. You got this one here. Is there any information in this one? This is weird, it's got like a front seat. Look at that seat at the front there. This had a tax for 2015. Obviously, you didn't have to pay because it's vintage. Battery there. Let's start this. Where is the information on it? 1904. Twenty miles an hour. This little sidecar. That's not a sidecar. It's a Little bus. Is that Morgan for this one? So saying this is four wheels, but the back wheels are narrow. That's all the old IA badges and that there. Can't get any closer than that, guys. Is that little? Well, these are motorized. As usual guys, just pause if you want to read them. It's got a nice dash. It's a penny farthing there on the wall. I gather that's what it is. I don't buy a new car. All them cans on the top there as well. 
the one I have got is just a big one with shell. Really nice, it's a silver one. This is a recreation. Just see the pedals down there. This little wing mirror. And we got this one. The Grand Prix model. They bought this for seven quid in 1964. I've never even been in a car this old, so. Can't imagine what it's like to drive. Probably a little bit of a bone shaker. And again, I wouldn't know, I've never been in one. I've sat in one, but never as it's been going. Little windscreen wiper there. I'll see if I can move this around so you can see the dash. Don't know how good you can see it, guys, because I'm sort of holding it out. As you can tell by me whacking it. And this old thing here, that's the name of the shop at the front, the actual antique shop we're in. Get a telephone number 234. Oh, it goes out there as well, by the looks of it. Let's have a look at this one. Sorry about the close up, guys. It's Oh, there's me. I don't know if we come back through here, so let's get a picture of this. I've probably missed things, guys. I'm really sorry if I have. This is a small gap to get through. Some little bits there. Another couple of old pumps. We can see it. There's this uh, Morris van. Oh, it was a Royal Mail van originally. The old home there. <laughs> There's just a couple more out here. Ford. So I think all them ones in there are Morris's. And these are just the old cars they got. The other makes. Old motorbike there. Don't know if this is the thing for it. If it's a panther, I ain't got a clue. This little side carriage there, yeah, so it's all one thing. Made of wicker. Actually looks quite comfortable if you had a cushion in there. There's a chassis up here. little scooter car. I don't know if you can read that. The lights on it a bit. Two different types. I don't know if I can get any little helmets there. 
if I'm getting there to sell you anything in there. There's another mortgage in here. Can't go around there at all to show you guys. There's an old bike there. Another old pump. Signs. Oh, a little two berth caravan. Don't know if you can see in there much. There's your not that much different from today's designs really. Same sort of setup. So it looked. There's a lot of information on here, so if you want to read it, let's go through it quickly. You can pause it as usual if you want to read it properly. Oh, my throat's a bit dry here. Is that the SO Tiger over there? Might not be. So that's it, guys. We walk back through. I'll just give you a quick look back through. I'm not going to keep stopping too much stuff. Oh, look. Old sign there. I thought it would have lit up or nothing, or if it's just like little reflector things, isn't it? Yeah. Little reflector stones, I think. Just gonna see if this thing did say yes on it or nothing. No, it doesn't actually say nothing. Zebra there as well. Another old pump or something now. An old shell logo down there. Sorry guys, it's really, they've got so much stuff in this little garage thing. They're all in lovely condition as well. So it's not always about seeing historic, well this is still historic, but it's not always about going to buildings, it's just seeing these things like this in Kent, like little extraordinary things, the weird ones that are not commonplace, I mean they've got Shell Grotto in Margate, it's a nice place to go that not many people go to, and you've got a you know, few, little few air museums all over Kent, that are not they're popular to people that know they're there, but not everyone knows they're there. Did we get all these trophies earlier? So it is nice to see other things as well, like I enjoyed this morning in Sissinghurst Castle. This is just something different. Well, no, I've enjoyed myself at both places today. I felt a bit disappointed with the video today. It's felt very rushed because I've done it all in one day. Hence why I mentioned before about not setting myself targets of destinations, like doing one in the morning or you know over the weekend and then see what I can fit in. Obviously, some weekends I can't have much time at all, maybe just a day, even if that sometimes. 
I work Monday to Friday usually, so it's only the weekends. Some old canister things here. I mean, like I said, we're on the third episode now. The first two, not many people watched them, but it's not just about for other people. It's just me enjoying saying, I've never been to this place. So it's nice to see something I haven't seen before. So, and as I said in the introduction to the dice game and the first episode, it's for me to not know where I'm going until I roll the dice. And then just to surprise myself where I'm going up. I mean, after we left Sissonhurst, we could have been at Scotney, we could have been at the Old Abbey, we could have been here. There's so many places we can go. But yeah, from episode four, four's my lucky number, so I'm hoping they get... Because there's not as much pressure to get round everywhere, I'm hoping I can make them a bit more enjoyable. I'm hoping I can get over the shyness so I'm not all really quiet around people and whispering all the time because it's probably hard to hear me sometimes, especially when I'm outside over the wind. I noticed that in one of the videos that as I was talking, all you could hear was a wind behind me. You couldn't hear, really hear what I was saying. And I also noticed in that video, I mumble a lot as well. And I think that's where I'm just trying to be quiet and not let other people hear me. So yeah, I'm on TripAdvisor. That's how I found this place, like I said before as well, I sometimes look at places that are open. Did we go in here and look at these cars? There's some uh, engines there. Some more old cars there, dinky cars. Some service ones, it's a little train now. Fire chief. Boats. Buses. So yeah guys, that's it for episode three. Um I'm gonna have a little walk around Melverden, see if I can find something to get a drink. Uh, if I can't, because it's busy, I don't know if it's, I know that I saw a cricket match on up the road, or practice, um, and there's quite a lot of places where, but there was a lot of cones along the road where I couldn't park, and up the road where the cricket ground was, you couldn't get up there at all. Lucky enough, I managed to find space just outside, just along from the shop, from the museum here. So, um, yeah, so as I said, that's the end of episode three. I'll get back to either the car or a cafe if I can find one here that's not too busy and we roll the dice to find our next destination. Hope you enjoyed it guys. Please like and subscribe. More videos coming soon. I didn't notice this when I was in when I come past guys, but there's a little railway track running around here. It's not running at the moment. It's got, little, it's got like a little bridge over there. Goes through a little tunnel behind that windmill. 